Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer Worlds. Now, apparently, we have just discovered Bell's Shells. Now, I'm going to continue exploring this place, as we will spend time here on the Groundbreaker, which we came to in the last video. But let's go ahead and try to find Chief... Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Um, Chief Junlei Tennyson. These stairs are four properties. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Can I talk? Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Junlei's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... You waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, um, get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache dude on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Well then, there's a lot of anger going on. Can I talk? Huh? Um... Unless you have business with the board, move along. Oh, I do have business with the board, but let's talk to the chief first. Greasy. Hearty greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. Let this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Um, glorified vending machine. This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such assertions. Shock simulation non-functional. A trouble ticket has been filed. Alright, let me take a look at that. Maybe I can fix it. Shock simulation restored. Initiating shock subroutine. How dare you? Shock subroutine complete. Estimated guilt level of customer increased by 35%. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Oh, well, um, I guess, why not? Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Well then. Uh, just let you know, if my voice sounds a little stuffy, it's because it's very cold here. And even though I put more clothes on, <clears throat> I'm still fairly cold. Uh, nothing really I have to sell. Fun times barrel. I might as well get rid of one. It's only worth 63 bits, but, you know, I'll take it. How much would it take to repair all equipped? Um, yeah, how much would it take? 87, 160... Uh, you know, I like it, but I already have the energy rifle. Let's go and sell that. I'm, I've had it for a while. Whatever. It's only worth 13. This, uh... Well, let's repair this. I think it's worth it. Armor... 87 for that? Nah. Cool. Oh. Oh. I can actually... What? Quiet. Well done. There's a... Do you see a dead body back there? I'm gonna come back here when... Maybe it's nighttime, perhaps? Is there... No? Nothing that way. Very cool. Freighter crew. Uh, who are you? If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cookies. Oh. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? Um, Spratwurst, looks, this looks like this might be a competitor or the original stand here in the promenade for food, maybe? I don't know. You know what Sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice oh, that would make sense. for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terrify them in their own juices. Sounds good. Is it like Borstwurst? Absolutely not. Spratwurst, in all related terms, are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar. The other meat is a registered trademark of C&P. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. Um, what does TerraFry mean? TerraFrying is a Spacer's Choice brand seed. A mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. 
Is it like your own invention? Legally? No. The terrifying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears, and could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C&P by R&Ding our own special meat. All right, well, that's enough talk. Just as well. Near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. <clears throat> well. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. Even though I might not want Terra Fried Sprout worse, I might buy one just to help her out. Just buy one. I'll help her out. I want to feel like I'm helping her out. Keeping her in business, you know. Um, how do we get... Oh, this is the main thing. Oh, right. Very nice. Oh, she's right there. thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub-level. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best... Hello. June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Oh. Um, I'm Captain of the Unreliable. Or... Let's be nice first. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Salute. <laughs> I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. Maybe. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. <laughs> None of your business. Once I get out of the em get out of impound. Interesting. The powers <clears throat> that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of huh. the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Alright, Parvati, you wanted to talk to Jun Lee. Go right ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Jun Lee. Uh, uh, Chief Jun Lee. June Lei is fine. All right. Um, nudge Parvati to continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe. I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. All right. Don't be shy about requesting time off, or silently encourage. Wow! Great. I'll do that then. Messages later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Jun Lee. I had some other questions. <laughs> Whisper. Nice job, Parvati. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. All right. Seems kind of warm. Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Uh, why haven't you fixed them? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. So, no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Makes sense. Intelligence. You need a contractor. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Alright. Where's that? Sorry. I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck. Long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. 
Um, try to talk it out? No, I don't want to talk it out. Have you tried sending anyone else? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Makes sense. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. All right, so I'll get those parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Because my goodness, I do not want to be in here as I'm being cooked alive. And actually, does Parvati have anything to say? Are we going to get in trouble today? Not that I want to. It seems to happen around you, that's all. <laughs> my apologies. What was that back at Junlai's? Junlai's? Junlis? Well, she's right behind me. I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? Um, very competent. Or you might have a crush on her? What? No. Maybe? I don't... It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? Um... This won't interfere with your work, will it? Come on, Captain. I just got my fingers dug into the guts of a real deal spaceship. You think I'm liable to let go anytime soon? Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lay? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just, she's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. All right, well, we'll talk later then. All right, so we need to go to the back bay. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertising. Well, let's see. Go to the map. Let's go. Oh, journal, I mean. Drinking sapphire wine. See how things are progressing between the two of them. Empty man. Security terminal. Oh, about the SAM unit. Where's that on the map? I can always fast travel back there. Um... Locate a security terminal on the groundbreaker. Well, let's see if... Ah, it's all the way back there. Cool. Which means I've got to do something like this. In the sick bay. Distress signal. Where's a science weapon? Still pretty far away. Gladys, Phineas's weapon. Mm, well, new parts for the radiator. It's pretty close. Oh, we have to go somewhere else. Well, looks like we're going to the back bays. Deserters, deserters, forced to return. Oh, couldn't read that fast enough. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Okay. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. A cred. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Uh, put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. You're only getting out of this alive if you play nice. Um, just exploring the ship and stumbled on this level. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. I'm here for some parts. I'm just passing through, can I? Passing through? This is dead-end territory. But you talk like you're on a journey. The path matches your step. Stretches out ahead of you. Yeah. The second floor is my place. Off limits to the likes of you. Whatever business brings you down to my domain, keep it local. I feel like I should just kill everyone down here. But let's see what we can do first. Striker. Take everything I can. Outlaws. There, it looks like there's a lot of outlaws down here. 
So it might not. Might not be best for me to just kill everyone immediately. Not another step in that direction, friend. <laughs> All right then. How about this direction? Is there anyone else here I could talk to? All right. Oh, probably. Yeah, I probably have to go on the second floor. Ooh, is that power armor? I would love power armor. I can go back down. Let's finish off this floor first. Uh. Can you imagine being frozen for ten years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Ooh, plasma rifle. Looks like this is all dead stuff. Anyone see me? Awesome. Uh, you know what? I might just kill them all. But let's check this first. Hello. Oh, Private Letty Dixon. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. It may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. What brings you to the back bays? June Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Youth these days have no principles. Oh. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off sucking the fumes, fumes and head huh? back to work. Radiator parts? Better off up in engineering. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. All right. Can we screw this up? There's an outlaw. Live, breed, die, breed. Nothing else matters. How do you smoke with... Is there a... There's not a mouth hole, is there? How, do you... How are you smoking? What is... Pete? Petty? Well, it sounds like I've got to go up this top. It's up there. I need to salvage some parts. Is there any way for me to get up there without anyone noticing? You get that auto mech patch? McCred wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name Wait. before I wake it up. Someone wants this up and running? Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? Hmm. Heart? Not like us. Do I have grenades? I think grenades would be really cool. Is there he, there he is. Neighbor from above, what brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? Um, how'd you end up back here? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Ooh. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Sounds like a lot what happened to me. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. Oh, uh, well, let's be honest. She sent me. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. So I can grab that part then, right? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Um, I can pay. Uh, I could lie or just attack. Those parts are leaking deadly toxins. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Sweet. Um, I still might kill him. I want to get Jun Lee's opinion on these guys first, and then I might come back down and just kill them all. My birthday. Well, happy yeah. birthday. Fuck your birthday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then. Terminal... Ammo, there's a guy in here. I can't really steal in front of him without causing problems. Oh. Gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. I'm sure I could sneak around this way. 
Um, no one saw that. Oh, there's a thing down here. If I could double jump, that would be cool. Uh, excuse me, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I might just come back down here and gas everybody with a couple of things from my laser plasma rifle. I could do it now, but I want to get her opinion first. Oh. Well, since we can go on the second floor, I'll be go up this way, too. Oh. Thank you. Do you like worms in your shrooms? I know I don't. Who are you talking to? Combat drone. They have a little garden down here. Very nice. I'll be back to steal everything you have, probably. When I look at you. Yeah, I'll probably be back to kill all of you. Probably. Alright then. Oh, that engineer's dead. Very cool. Prefabricated living, just like home. Step one, step two, step three. Taste the freedom. Uh, we'll be tasting something, I'm sure. Actually, let's do this first. Uh, daily checklist. Alright. Personal files. Promenade status. Morale has dipped 18% since Martin Callahan showed up. Turn to root. Messages from you, Bedford, my dear lady. Alright. Obstructionist. Cool. You've returned. And in one piece. Color me impressed. All right. I got the parts. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticolor infestation. Um, s slight? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. All right, then. Uh, however... Don't worry, Miss Junle. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Uh, what about the Those strikers? Those won't make themselves. Uh, what's it like being in command around here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. It's a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the groundbreaking. My grandmother, Chief Gain, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. All right, big, was it a big change? Condolences. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. All right. Um, where's the self-destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. Oh. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it bruises thin that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. All right, cool. Um, I guess. You've got my attention. You don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. How do you keep them at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer. 
but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. All right, cool. You got my attention. Well, she's not going to tell me anything about the strikers, which is kind of interesting that she's conveniently leaving that out. But you know, oh well. <clears throat> oh, there's song. Keep your wits about you down there. I don't want to clean crispy freelancer bits out of the radiators again. Well, um, that looks like I can't take any of that stuff, and that's okay, I guess. Sometimes I Whoa. question my decision to be out here, but then I remember, free will is just an illusion. Very nice. The controls are on the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radio. I missed. Oh. Okay, whoops, my bad. Any more? Probably is. Uh, let's be right ahead of me. You know what? Let's back off. I'm gonna blow these things up first. I missed. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, those things are hot. Is there anything in these guys? Matapillar? No, but I do see some of this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's go up. Oh, wait. Oh, they're on the second... Oh, they're on the second floor. No wonder I didn't see them. Here they come. Can I, can I move? Come on. Come on. Very nice. Is there anything on Ooh, it is hot, 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 hot here. Doesn't look like there's anything else on that side. Well, let's go this way. Nope, never mind. There's still more around here, so it's not the last of them just yet. Yeah, I don't think these things really have very much on them. But we keep getting more uh, mag picks and bypass shunts, so I'm okay with that. Cool. Trouble incoming, Captain. Nice hit. Just missing a few shots here and there. Body, please don't get in my way. I just take everything these bodies have. And what was this? Some more bits. Anything around here? Nope. All right then. Very easy. Very nice. Cool. Adreno stuff. Terminal time. Cycle droplet pumps. Logs. Cobbled together. Staff is getting reckless. Old plans, new problems. Alright, return to root and exit. I hope I get XP and a few bits, to say the least. Will it break my legs? No. Huh. Will this break my legs? No. Oh, there's a terminal here. Archived logs. Arrival confirmation. A stern reminder. Very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors. They had the wrong idea why I flew us out here. Return to root. I'm just thinking if there's anything on those terminals that might open up some more dialogue up. God, that's scary. 
Ooh. Of course. Dialogue the options or stuff. Generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. Oh boy. Well, hopefully it won't be so hot here anymore. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. <clears throat> if you've got time, I wow. believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Ooh. Well, thank you very much, but you still won't tell me about your strikers. I would very much like to know that. Alright, so we're still here. We're not going to end the episode just yet, because I still want to kind of explore a little bit more in this video. Ooh. Cleaver. Tremor Cleaver. Security Blade. Ooh, and a pretty nice thing to sell. Sentry Saber. Uh, Vicar Max, what are you using? You're having... An LMG and a shock stick. That, that is a one-handed melee. That's a 200 melee, 200 melee. Instead of the sh oh, the shock stick is still pretty good. This also does shock stuff. Whatever. Uh, you have a hammer. It's one-handed. This is two-handed. Yeah, whatever. Let's go to journal and quest. Passage to anywhere. Talk to Udom Bedford. Purchase a nav key. Weapons from the void. Solution vial. Well, let's do this one next. Where's Miss Dorset? Sublight, salvage, and shipping. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Oh, this should prove. Yes, very interesting part about you. Don't run. Uh, Fallbrook shipments. This week in salvage. All right. Got any leads on salvage? Doesn't even have to be broke yet. Take Doesn't look like there's anyone really in charge there. All right, let's keep going back this way. Oh, public terminal. Recent e oh, recent users. M. Callahan. From here, the hat. All right. Hi, mom. Hope you're doing well. Thought I'd check in. Turn to root. Public notices. Feel that we fix the radiators. Very good. Seeking contractor sublight salvage. Loitering on public or on board property is strictly prohibited. Interesting. I'm not going anywhere. You can't keep me out of there. Please. Uh, hello. Uh, June Lay called up from engineering. Said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? Maybe. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck and a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Huh. Ooh. Reinforced headwear. Class S. Interesting. Metatalysis gel. Can I sell you stuff? I know you're only a doctor's place, but uh, I'm not going to sell you this. I'll just scrap that. It's not really worth selling that. Two-handed, two-handed. I'll sell this. Armor. Ooh. Goggles. Much better engineering. Minus one to perception. That's not bad. I might actually use that. Uh, we can sell this, though. Cool. Ellie? That's another companion you can get. Cause I've, I've seen her in, like, maybe a trailer or something or something like that. So I know you can get her. Um, armor. This is 12 armor. Plus 5 lockpicking. Or 4 armor and plus 15 engineering. Uh, Parvati, do you have... What do you have for armor? This suits you... Oh, now that's nice, Parvati. I can't even see your eyes. Perfect. Um, cool. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See him, Furu? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Uh, what's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Uh, maybe I can look up on her. Be my guest. 
If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Uh, something I can help you. Can with? I just go in? Or do I need to talk to you? I like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Uh, the records say, have you actually spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Oh no. Uh. Take care. Do you mind if I go on this real quick? Messages. Where are my auto mechs? Oh, there's Dorset. Log staff shortage. Oh, right then. Huh. Well then, okay. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Alright. Wheeler told me to get you off this his booty about shipments. Won't be coming in soon. What's going on? What's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Huh? Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Alright, I could... Mm, what do you need him for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Uh, why's that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Alright, cool. We leveled up. Nurse. Well, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Skills. We're level 9 now. Like normal, I like to level up my persuasion skills as high as possible. Maybe that'll come in handy. Maybe that won't. But we'll see what happens. Of course, more stealth. We got level 20 for uh, sneak. Got two more points. Do this. I like that stuff too. Awesome. Uh, it's restricted access. Sick Mardet. Anyone important here? Sick Mardet. Wait, uh, I didn't mean to change my weaponry. But, let's go ahead and pick up the ID cartridge. See the holographic shroud. You will now be automatically disguised when entering the associated restricted zone. Oh, crap. Oh, the holographic disguise activated. Your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Walk, talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. It'll get harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Oh, uh, where's my shroud? Oh, it's the bottom. Um... Oh, we're all together. Well, we might as well use it. Very nice. Oh. No one sees me. Please, close the door. That's rude to not close the door behind you. Oh, wait. I'm stealing stuff from the hospital, which tries to help people out. Um. Okay, well... I seen you limping a bit. Are you all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? Is this not part what of the? Implying? My shroud went off. Fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Huh. The sprat. Well, we'll let it live for now. But where am I? Spacer. 
This... Oh! That's connected straight to there. Did I go the wrong way? Captain... Oh, I'm gonna go back to my ship. That's an... Oh, that's really interesting. Well, we picked up some stuff. We might as well sell it. And I know this video is going on longer than I kind of intended for it to do so. Um, so... Screw it, we'll just sell that too. Yeah, I did not mean for this to go on longer, but it's, it's probably gonna go on longer. Uh... Uh, I really want to go see what if I can talk to the hospital people again. Um, don't mind my weapon; it's just for good use. If I talk to these people, does that help reset my thing? I went to the, I went to the left. Okay, good. It does reset. And before we do anything else, let's double check and make sure that we actually talk to Jesse. Ever wonder if maybe folks are going to for a reason? Try it. You see nothing. Can't open that up. Can't open that up. Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful, sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Open the door before I kick it down. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay, we can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. All right, then. Let's see what's going on. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? Maybe I am. See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Alright. I do work for the board. Uh, what'd you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yeah, do you think someone from the board is following you? Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Well, there's your problem. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So, you done took it. If I had, you'd think I'd be hiding out in the med bay. I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Wow. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Huh. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Alright, Ellie asked me to help find you, or help you. Udom Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. All right, I'll talk to him. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Cool. Oh, crap, we're still... Oh, our shroud is starting to... Every time I see the uniform, I'm like, that's the one who's going to not be nice to me? I'm only being nice because they can pay me. Uh, I need to get out of here. But after I do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's all they have. Let's get out of here. Nope. I am totally legally supposed to be in there. Awesome. So that's pretty much all the time for that we have today, guys. We've done quite a bit. We've helped 
make this place a little bit cooler. We've helped uh, establish relations with some of the people on the ship. And now we have a goal of talking now, a double goal to talking to Udom Bedford. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. I know this video went on quite a bit longer than normal. But anyways, um, check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow. And I hope you all have a great, great day.